Hello everyone! Today I'll tell you about the metal lead. Lead is pretty much at the bottom of group 4 of the periodic table of chemical elements. Of all the non-radioactive elements, this metal has almost the biggest atomic mass. Outwardly, lead is a soft, silvery metal, which is very easy to scratch, since it is 1.5 times softer than gold. It's also very easy to melt metal because it's melting point of 327 degrees Celsius. You can easily create ingots or cast figures from the lead. This metal is very stable on air and does not react with acid solutions. And its compounds are quite toxic and you need to be careful when working with lead salts. In ancient Rome, Lead was often being used as wall facing for the manufacture of pipes and utensils. Romans did not know about the toxicity of lead, which they then subsequently paid for as lead affects the brain, and then human's psyche then suffers greatly from it. The usage of lead at home is considered one of the causes for the Roman Empire collapse. Let's conduct some nice experiments with lead, or rather with its compounds. In the first experiment, we will take a hot solution of lead nitrate and mix it with a hot solution of potassium iodide, and then we'll wait until the mixture cools down. Upon cooling, beautiful crystals of lead iodide will start to fall from the solution, resembling gold tinsel. We now just did the favorite trick of medieval alchemist, received gold from lead, also this is a just a chemical delusion. This experiment is also known as the golden rain. Lead iodide crystals look very nice in the dark at lateral illumination. For the second experiment, we will take the lead acetate, which is a salt of lead and acetic acid, and drop a piece of zinc into it. Over time, a layer of lead crystals will start to grow on the zinc, due to the reaction of substitution of lead by zinc ions. The layer of lead crystals looks very nice. It turns out to resemble something like a lead handicap. Lead has a very wide application these days. Mainly they tend to make bullets for weapons. Some of those are covered with a copper shell. Lead is also used in the manufacture of lead acid batteries for cars as a part of solder alloys. Because of its low price and high density, lead is used as a protection against radiation and as a load of fission floats. Lead is obtained by reacting lead R concentrate with carbon, after which it is purified from silver, nickel and other metals. Now you know a bit more about one other metal from the periodic table. If you want to continue this journey of the elements, like and subscribe to my channel to see many more new and interesting. If you would like to support the continuous production of science videos like this one, please support channel on Patreon, link in the video description.